Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite lip liners, lipsticks, and lip glosses. This was a requested video, so thank you so much for sending this in. I'm excited to put this together. It actually took me some time to pick my favorite high rotation lipsticks right now, so Thank you for making me think about that a little bit. These are the colors that I wear. They're tried and true. They wear very beautifully all day long. They don't give you a weird look halfway through the day. So quality wise and color wise, these are my top picks. Let's get started. So first I'd like to start with my lip liners because Definitely if you're using a lipstick, I recommend using a lip liner and I will show you which one I pair these with as we go through the lipsticks as well. But this is a combination of high-end and drugstore products and I think that's important for you to know. I have tried many different products, drugstore and high-end, and these are my top. Number one is Subculture by MAC. This is a nude it's a warm nude I'm just gonna start drawing these on the back of my hand for you so this is a warm nude but this is just such a universal color and I really love to apply this with nude lipsticks that I'm wearing or like a clear lip gloss if I want to have a nice natural lip next is the nude whisper in 105 and this is by maybelline this has become one of my favorite nude next up is rimmel this is also a drugstore this is east end snob 063 this has been one of my favorite pink-esque lip liners i love to put this with like a pink that i'm going to wear east end snob which is this last one is a nice pink to pair with any pink lipsticks that you're going to wear the next one is by stilla this is pink moscato you will see me using this quite often because it's a really nice it's a little bit darker it's more like the lilac pink so it's more of like a purpley it's that last one Next up for a little bit of a darker nude, this is the Sephora brand in number 28, Sink or Suede. And this goes really nice with a dark pink as well. For red, I have used the IT Cosmetics Red, but I actually like this Revlon lip liner. This is just red rouge, and I'm going to go right underneath that is the one that I use for my all of my reds just this Revlon Colorstay lip liner I think it stays in place it doesn't let my red lipstick run so there we have it those are my favorite lip liners now let's move on to lipstick so what I have on right now is typically what I film a tutorial in which is the juicy tube ultra brilliant and this is just a nice natural glossy lip and I it's not a lipstick but I do wear this very often so I just wanted to share that with you I love this lip gloss and that's what you see me wearing in most of my tutorials before I apply my actual lip look the first look that I have on and I have paired is the Smashbox pretty social and the 105 Maybelline nude whisper so this is the first lipstick. This is definitely one of my go-to everyday lipsticks. I love this color. It's just a nice, fun, nude pink. It's a nude that has just enough pink in it that it doesn't wash me out. I love this lipstick. This wears very well throughout the day. It's very moisturizing. It's not matte, but it's not sheen. It's just that perfect combination of both. The next combination is by Maybelline, so I have used Nude Whisper, and I've paired that with Peach Buff, which is 540. This is a beautiful matte nude, and I can wear this alone, but the next look I'm going to show you is how I combine that with another Maybelline lipstick. So on top of that previous look, I just applied the Nude Lust in 920, which has a little bit of a sheen to it because I have dry skin. So when I wear a matte lipstick, it's really hard for me to wear that for a very long time. So what I do to combat that is just putting a little bit of this sheen over that really helps to make this color stay all day long without creasing or getting weird on my lips. So this look right here is lining with the Nude Whisperer. 
and then the peach buff and then on top of that I'm applying the nude lust in 920 all by Maybelline The next look, I have lined my lips with the Steel Love Pink Moscato and my all-time favorite lipstick. This is like my go-to. I replace this every time I run out of it. The Lancome Love It. If you have not tried this color or added this to your collection, I highly recommend it. It looks great on so many skin types. It wears very well. It stays moisturized and hydrated all day long. And I really wear this look quite often. The next look, which is more of a muted nude, this is more of a natural earth tone nude. It doesn't have so much pink in it. This was a little bit of a splurge. This was Shiseido, and I went in 502 Whisper, and I lined my lips with the Nude Whisper, which is kind of funny, those are similar. Nude Whisper by Maybelline, and Whisper 502 by Shiseido. That Kylie Kardashian J-Lo look, this is the closest I can get because this nude has just a little bit of a brown. It's enough color that it doesn't wash me out, but I can pull off this nude, so that made me very happy when this was recommended to me at the Nordstrom Shiseido counter. This next combo was recommended to me by my sister Raquel and I was so happy that it worked for me because she has olive skin and so I always go to try the colors that she loves and they just don't work for me. So when I tried this combination and it worked I was like, yes! This is the Sephora 28 Sink or Suede and the Urban Decay ZZ Cream. This is ultra hydrating. I love wearing this lipstick. I can wear this either as a daytime look or a date night. This is just fantastic to take right into the evening because it has that nice electric pop, but it's not too much. It's just enough that it still looks dressy for the evening and casual enough to wear in the day. Okay, so now we are going to move into the reds, which is one of my favorite categories. I am a cancer when it comes to the horoscope world, so I love my fiery dragon red. And I have tried so many. I have a huge collection of reds, but these have made it into my top three. So I'm excited to share this with you. And if you've tried these, you know they're the best. They're just fantastic colors and they wear beautifully. So let's get started with the first one. Okay, so my first red combination is with the Revlon Colorstay Red Liner, and I have taken the Red Stiletto Cream by Lancome. These are such a great combination. It's more of a berry red than the other reds that I have, but this is a really nice date night or holiday red. It has just a little bit of a berry hint to it. So there's your orange red and there are your berry reds and I'm always leaning towards the fiery reds, but this is the closest that I can get to have a little bit of a berry purple tone to my red. Okay, so the next combo with the fiery red is by Butter London, and this is a Lady Bird. And of course, I've paired it with the same lip liner, the Color Stay Revlon Red. This is such a vibrant red, fun color for going into spring and summer. And I want to tell you a little backstory about this color. We were actually at the San Diego Zoo, and I saw a lady wearing this color. And I told my husband, like, wait, I have to go ask her what lipstick she's wearing because it was fantastic. And she probably thought I was a weirdo, but I had to know what color it was. And I went and I bought it that day. So this is the Lady Bird by Butter London. And my favorite all-time red is the MAC Lady Danger. I have been wearing this for so many years. This is the color that I swear by. It's that perfect bright orange dragon red. I just love it. And if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. It's almost gone. It's proof. I have bought this so many times and this one's almost gone. And then of course I lined with the same 
Revlon Colorstay Red Lip Liner. So there you have it. Those are my top current rotation with pinks and nudes and reds, including lip liners. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so that you know when new videos are released on my channel. Thank you so much for your support and have a beautiful day. Take care.